Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn what are closures and how can we use closures in Scala. So first of all, what is a closure or what are closures? So a closure is a function which uses one or more variables which are declared outside the function. So closures are essentially functions they can be pure functions or impure functions. They can be named or unnamed closures, same as uh, functions. But the basic difference is closure uses one or more variables which are declared outside the function. So let me give you an example. So let's say I declare a function which takes only one argument. So this is a add function which takes x as int. And then what it does is it gives us the addition of uh, x plus a constant number, let's say 10, okay? And let's call this add into our main function. So print ln, and then I'm going to just write add, and then I'm going to just uh, pass 20 as an argument. And let me run the program it will give us 30 as expected right now what closure says closure says it is a function which uses one or more variable which is declared outside the function so if it's a closure we will define for example var number is equal to 10 and then this number we are going to use inside the function instead of uh, this 10, okay? So this is a variable, let's say, and the variable name is a number and its value is 10. And we are using this variable which is declared outside the function inside this add function, right? So let me run the program and it still gives us the same result. So now add is a function whose return value depends on the value of uh, one or more uh, variable, in our case number, which is declared outside the function. Now sometimes this number variable is also called a free variable because its value is not bound uh, to the function itself. That is the function does not know the value of this variable number. Now you may ask one question, if the value of uh, this variable number changes, will the result will also change? The answer is yes. So for example, I will change the value of this uh, variable number inside my main function and let's say it's 100 now. And let's run the code once again. And the result is 120. So the closure takes the last valid state of this uh, variable which is declared outside the closure. So when you execute a closure, it takes the most recent state of a variable. Now the next question you may ask is, what if the closure changes the value of this variable number? So let's look that case also. So I'm going, I'm going to enclose this inside uh, these curly brackets and let's say we just assign the sum into the number itself. So number is equal to x plus number, okay? And then we are just uh, returning number once again. So what happens now? So let's print the value of number. So I'm going to just uh, print ln and then I'm going to just print number once again, okay? So let me run the program and let's see what the result is. And the result is 120. So you can see the number value is declared first of all uh, 10 and then we have changed the number value to 100 and at last this closure has changed the value of this number to 120. So that means the changes made inside the closure are passed back to the variable. Now the next question is what is a pure and the impure closure. So let me revert back all the changes. So I'm going to just uh, revert back all the changes like this. So our impure closure is whenever 
the data type of this number variable is var that means the variable value can change from inside the closure or from outside the closure right so this is an impure closure on the other hand whenever the data type of this variable number is val that means you cannot change the value of this variable number that makes this closure a pure closure that is the result of the closure will be same always whenever we pass same value because the value of uh, this variable number is constant now so the behavior of this closure will be same for the same argument we are passing as a value of x so this is how you can use closures in scala i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now.